Today, I'm going to show you how you can visually edit and design your React app without having to write any of the code yourself, all using Onlook. To do this, I'm going to walk you through some visual edits I'm going to make to my Product Hunt clone over here, just so you can get a sense of the power of Onlook. So let's start by um, just improving the text here. I'll just say, you know, popular topics. It's a little bit more descriptive. Um, you can see I've selected the element, just hit enter, typed it out, and it's written actually to code. To make sure, I can always view the element code over here, and it'll take me to exactly the code base where that edit was made. All right, uh, let's uh, move this over here, just make it a little bit more balanced, um, and definitely improve um, the spacing here between those elements. Uh, you'll notice here that as I made those changes, it propagated because these are components. Um, you remember when I said that this was tied to the code base? I can actually open up the individual instance code or the uh, parent component code here directly from the editor. Um, okay, now that I made that change, so let's just clean it up a little bit more. Um, this text is a little bit light, uh, and so I am going to jump over here and actually just up the class. Uh, I can write custom Tailwind classes over here if I want to, uh, or I could just use the um, editor uh, inputs over here as they're provided. Um, okay, this component is looking much better. Um, the cool thing with Onlook is that I can actually test and see what this looks like on mobile, um, and I can also see what it's like to um, interact with the product itself. You see I have some hover states, uh, and I can do this upvote arrow, and it works. Um, this, um, this submit form is the last thing I want to improve. Um, the cool thing is, like I said, you can actually interact and then also um, uh, just pause the screen to then design elements that may be in uh, certain states. Um, right here, I, I actually want to reorder things to take the, um, the title and uh, the subtitle and just make sure that you put those in uh, first, um, just before you jump in and start uh, playing around with the tags. Um, I think I'll open up the gap just a little bit there to make it a little easier to, to click. Uh, and I'm gonna just fix this button to be the full width of the form there. Um, okay, great. Um, so everything's interactive. Everything looks much better than uh, when we first started, when we first opened up the app. Um, and um, I'm ready to go. So um, this is just a quick preview of what you could do with Onlook. Um, I'm super excited for you guys to try this out. It's an early version of the product, but um, all your feedback is super, super important to my co-founder and I. And um, we, don't, we just are excited to see what you're going to build with Onlook. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. I'm Daniel at Onlook.dev. All right, thanks.